day three. <clears throat> so I depend on Lyft and Uber to get to work for my 6 a.m. job. I work two jobs for the 6 a.m. job. I depend on Uber every day. Normally I'm in Grapevine, but because of certain circumstances, I needed to be home in Arlington with my fucking folks. And I just planned on, you know, heading to work the next morning. But in order to do that, I had to put money in the fucking um, ATM so I could have money to get to work. How about I put my money in this bitch? And they, and it said transaction issue. <laughs> So, I'm out of 70 fucking dollars, and now I can't even get to fucking work. I don't have no other way of fucking transportation. If you know me, you know I don't drive, because PTSD is a motherfucker, praise God. But, yeah, I'm trying to remain calm and cool, but I'm hella pissed. $70 is a lot of fucking money. It's six o'clock in the morning I'm annoyed as fuck I smoked all my weed it's just not a good day so far like this is some fucking bullshit I have to get to work oh my god I swear man it's just whew, life just keeps fucking Lifing at my ass and there is nothing I can fucking do about it besides hell live that bitch <sighs> and now I'm walking back across the street back fucking home I call my boss at least so they know the deal I call the uh, ATM I don't know when their business hours are they couldn't even help me cause it's too early <laughs> so I probably even, I can't even I probably can't even do nothing about this situation until around eight o'clock. That's when most businesses open is around eight o'clock. That's two hours worth of work <laughs> missing just to handle a transportation issue. That's unacceptable. Oh God, it's just oh, shit like this, man. Shit like fucking this, bro. Like. I'm trying to be independent, not depend on nobody for shit, just for things like this to happen, to bite me in the fucking ass. Thanks. Thanks a fucking lot. Thanks. Well, your girl made it to fucking... Hold on, this plane. Okay. Well, as you can see, I made it to work. Didn't want to come, but hey... I gotta make this motherfucking money. My boss is a real nigga. I told her my situation. She was like, well, I can pay for your Uber. I was like, well, shit, say less. You know what I'm saying? So I'm glad that that worked out. But yeah, this job is very depressing. I just stack mail all day for 12 hours. And it sucks with all the bullshit I've been going through. Like, I'd just be dead ass angry all day. I'd be angry. I'd be angry all day. Sometimes I probably do take it out on the mail a little bit. Especially when there's the kind of mail that I have to, like, put a cover over it and, like, have to mash it down for it to you know fit i'll be loving those i'll be loving those i'll be punching the shit out them damn things <laughs> more than anything like i'd be mad i'd be legit angry i'd be angry as fuck like i'll start off sad and then i just be fucking livid like to the point where like i'd be feeling like i want fucking blood that's dead ass how I feel. Like, somebody got to pay in fucking blood. That's dead ass how the fuck I feel. And I feel that every day. And every day I have to sit here and and, and, and really tell God, like, bro, take this shit from me. 
take this feeling from me. I'm tired of feeling all this pressure right here on my chest or right here on my stomach all because I'm carrying this shit. Like, I literally feel it physically. It affects me physically because I'd be that fucking pissed off. I ain't never been through nothing like this in my entire fucking life. Well, well, I made it through another day at my 12-hour fucking job. Baby, that's a miracle. Every day I come out that bitch at 6 o'clock, I be thanking God. I had to talk myself out of a mental breakdown today. I talked myself through it. Like, I was literally in the bathroom like, okay, bitch, get it together. You have to accept what what is. Period. So, that's what the fuck I had to do. I'm better now. I'm definitely better now. Um, maybe one day this whole dark night of the soul thing will be over. If anybody, well, some of you may be familiar with that. Whatever. Anyways, um, yeah, man, I say the theme for today is called acceptance. Just acceptance. Accept it all. The good, the bad, and the fucking ugly. Just accepting it all and realizing that, hey, this is my reality. I think too many times in the past, I would tell myself this is not my reality to call myself dealing with it. And that's not healthy. That's not healthy. I would tell myself, this is not real. This is not real. No, bitch, this is very much so real. And you have to go through this shit. So, that's what the fuck I'm doing. Going through my shit. Not even a day at a time. These days, it's like a minute at a fucking time. Shit. It's a minute at a time. Because literally, I could be cool the next 60 seconds. Literally, I could be a hot mess in the next 60 seconds. But yeah, it's all good. It is all good. I have the warm-up competition tomorrow. And that's all I'm going to be focused on. Between now and then, is working on my music. Getting everything together for the show. And pray that one day I will have peace of mind and continue to manifest my peace of mind. Yeah. Yeah. I just have to I just have to say this, you know, sometimes sometimes you really just get tired of a feeling, you know? Let's be real. Let's be honest. Let's be all the way 100. Like, sometimes you don't want to feel shit. Sometimes it be too much where a nigga just be like, God damn, like, I just want to be numb. Just, just numb. And it's weird because it's like, I know what it feels like to be numb. It's cool for a while, but that dead feeling after a while it just don't it don't feel good to me also feeling is important feeling is necessary it makes you (laughs) it makes you fucking human sometimes you're gonna laugh sometimes you're gonna cry your fucking eyes out sometimes you're gonna be pissed the fuck off sometimes you're gonna be fucking wrong Sometimes you're going to be right. It's just... It's just the balance of life. And just learning how to work through those balances is a daily thing. 